Ah, welcome back my uh, gardening friends. Well, the Allium leaf miner will now be about. Normally the first wave is about March uh, to June, according to the RHS. So I've been putting it off and putting it off, but this was recommended uh, by one of my viewers when we had the beet leaf miner and I'll put the uh, channel that I went to uh, for the ingredients. So this is cold pressed neem oil and it's got 100% pure, whatever that says, and I'll put it in the uh, description. It needs that 100% pure because that's what kills the bugs as they eat our plants. What else do we need? It's half a tablespoon to each litre of water, so either one tablespoon or uh, half a tablespoon. Then your sprayer. Now, this is a, a flit sprayer. So as you pump uh, this handle, you get the spray coming out and you can have it in different directions we'll see that shortly but if you look online for a, a flit sprayer uh, and they actually fit into uh, the uh, the bottles so they the, the actual cap is a, a screw bottle fit so the neem oil can look like that or it can look like this. Uh, this has been in the cupboard. I bought a, a fresh one last year. So basically, last year, that's all I actually used. So let's have a little look. Oh, you can see both of them. So you can see it's... Uh, I only used uh, a small amount last year. Uh, I'm not building any structures this time, so... I'm hoping that uh, this will work on the Allium leaf miner. We know it works on the beet leaf miner. I'm going to have a go uh, with the cabbage uh, whites and what else was there? Oh, some slugs. If we find any slugs about, we'll spray the leaves and see if uh, the slug uh, reacts to the ingredients. So let's get uh, set up. just have to make sure it's fully melted you can always just warm it up slightly so you don't need a lot for the amount of water that we're putting it into you're not going to be able to see this as clear let's put the lid on because I'm a devil for knocking things over so basically now it's sitting in there, you can see it just there, hopefully. So it just needs a, a little bit of soap. Now I've been told in the past to make sure it is just ordinary soap, but you just have to keep adding a little bit. <clears throat> basically you need to shake it up so that all the oil is dissolved and perhaps this blue container isn't exactly uh, the best thing but I'll have a little look at that and we'll just see shortly see if uh, that uh, settles so that's been about uh, three minutes and uh, it's just started to form on the surface again so just have to be careful how much soap we put in because it's the soap that also helps uh, with other insects i tried neem oil on green fly white fly and they loved it they multiplied uh, threefold so uh, i'll be trying it again this year but it's soon that's that's dropping into there nicely i'm not sure whether you're picking that up but it needs to be a clear container but i'll pick this bigger bigger container uh, this is probably more uh, uh, the better size but I thought that one would be better of course we can't really see it properly so let's get uh, the flip sprayer uh, into the uh, the bottle and uh, 
we'll just give it a quick uh, puff probably covered the screen uh, with Nemo so we'll do the garlic as well I'm going to do everything and uh, we'll see how it goes I'll just get you a little bit closer Now that's uh, almost used all of that, so realistically we should be using two litres of water and one tablespoon. That's why I made this container bigger for. I'm just going to finish those leeks off. So I've done the leeks, all the leeks and all the garlic on this left hand side. So we can keep an eye on those and see how uh, they do. And I'll be keeping an eye on the uh, young onions the new uh, raised beds it's mainly leeks I suffer with the allium leaf miner uh, at the moment these onions are looking really healthy we'll be keeping an eye on them any signs of those little white trails starting uh, anywhere along here and then the maggot crawls down and then goes down into your leeks uh, or your alliums these leeks are well established because they were from the seed, the pips from the seed head. So they're going to be susceptible uh, on the first wave. So there's no signs of any damage at the moment. I'll be leaving uh, the video playlists uh, on neem oil and allium leaf miner, how to identify it, etc. Uh, at the end. So why not take a look at those? so that you can be prepared now if you can't treat them uh, you can actually if you've got the allium leaf miner in there you can actually cut them off and they'll regrow but what a shame when uh, they're looking as nice as they are a little bit of rust on them and I've just no I have noticed that some of the leaves are going slightly yellow on the uh, elephant garlic do they need something would you let us know guys thanks very much for watching commenting subscribing uh, the links are below for the uh, Mars Hydro SP150 LED lights that I'm looking at at the moment why not have a little look at them and it won't be long before I have a little competition for somebody to win a set of those lights so keep watching to the end of my videos and i mean the end of my videos happy gardening to you all till next time my friends bye for now